by making the last video, I noticed we have quite a lot of updates. And in Plasma, that's where we're at, in Plasma we don't see any icon down here somewhere. Or there are messages telling us, hey, you should update. So there's nothing there. We'll cover that in another tutorial. But what you always can do, or what we most of the time do, as Arch Linux and Arch Linux guy is Control Alt T, and then use our um, well or aliases actually. So it's a good thing that I repeated that the word alias is just what it is. It's an alias. Something is an alias for something longer that we keep forgetting. So check out all these aliases that are quite interesting. And what I would like to do now before I update this system is do first a backup scale. So you remember <coughs> that Arch uh, and Arch Linux better, Arch Linux has something specific. It puts all the specific configuration in etc scale, right? <coughs> Sorry. And we've made a new alias. Let's find it out. There is a new alias that says backup scale. And I'm going to make a procedure in this video for you to figure out, hey, what changed in this etc scale. And the best thing to do is, before you update, do a backup scale. I'm not sure if there's anything changed, but just the procedure wise, before you update, what you do, let's open up our file manager. Control H is already pre and pressed, so Control H, hide and unhide is working. And in here you'll find a folder. Let's move this one over here. Have that one here. If we type backup scale, this is going to happen. Everything that's inside the etc scale is now in this folder. Scale backup of that date, year, date, a month, day, hour, minute, second, right? Then you do your update. And update, you check out the alias up here. It's going to update everything with Pacman. Meaning, it's going to get in everything Arch Linux and everything Arco Linux based. So, doing just that. It's a bunch of files. This is still no AOR in it. It's Arch Linux and Arco Linux. And I'm looking at any of the files if there are any Arco Linux. I don't see any. I don't see any Arco Linux files anywhere. So we're going to install all these files. And let's wait for everything to uh, download. By the way, there were people asking on Facebook, hey, I get um, timeouts and all that. That means that your mirror is wrong. So Ctrl Alt T, there is another command that's called alias. And all you need to know is to, to type the word mirror. And this long line is run. And then you get all the fastest mirrors in your neighborhood and everything will work again. All right, pausing here. All right, everything installed just fine. And remember, all with it was update, so the AOR is still due. But the procedure, if you do another backup scale, what you get is a second folder, right? Before update, after update, you see 12, that's an uh, hour, and 10 is the minute, so 13. Three minutes later, everything is updated. You need to compare these two with each other, and then you know if there's a difference in the scale. That's my procedure. Now, Super F5 on any of the systems, XFC, Openbox, i3, Awesome, BSPWM, etc., will launch Melt. Is Melt already installed? It is. So now what I'm missing actually is a custom keyboard shortcut. So let, let's quickly make it so it's another repetition of another tutorial. Shortcut, custom shortcut, Eric, edit, new, global, command, melt, enter, trigger is super F5. Aha, there is already a problem. The shortcut meta F5 conflicts with the following key combination. Uh -huh. Action, move, window, mouse to focus. So we, you need to decide if you would like to 
reassign that. So it's up to you and that's why we did not put any of our Arco Linux shortcuts in there. So you decide if you want to reassign or not. In this case, I am going to reassign and then action run me melt, apply and that's done. If for a later date I want to save everything, I'm going to export this group to a file name in my Dropbox. I'm going to add this later to it. Delete. Open. It's saved. Now we started doing this by um, with variety. So let me quickly change the name. And this is just all the keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts uh, plasma. The hotkeys, that's the name. I'm gonna collate it behind it. Like so, okay, hotkeys. So that's now synced, it's on Dropbox, so it's on there in the proper extension like docx, uh, etc is now applied so we see it. Okay, that's that, because that's just an extra uh, repetition of, of another tutorial. What I want to do is Super F5, right? Super F5 is obviously on the other screen, and I'm going to compare two um, folders, not this one, but the one that's hidden. This is was when I told you to create another user, remember? So Ctrl H, we want to compare this one was the first one before the update. And this one is after the update. Eric, after the update, okay. Compare, File folders have no differences. So I already, you know that there is no difference between uh, before the update and after the update. So nothing happened, no Arco Linux packages have been installed to etc scale whatsoever. No, fine, good to know. Maybe interesting to know that if you have a lot of files that you can say, then click here on same, and then you see the only the new ones and the modified ones. So those are the ones that you're interested in, in the new ones and the modified. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And that's that. So we have um, zero, zero updates for um, Arch Linux. Fine. So it's all Arch Linux. One thing we've not done is another alias, which is if you run it like I do now in this procedure, if you installed all the Arch Linux and all the Arch Linux, what's left is AUR. So this one will install just anything, everywhere, any update. But if you do it like this, then you see gradually how you um, install everything. And, it's, and you know that AUR is a little tricky. It's Arch user. A user is just like you and me. So things can go wrong there with updates. But never mind. Um, everything will work uh, with your current uh, version. No problem there. So we're still waiting for this maintainer who is, uh, well, maintaining really <laughs> this package build. And it's, um, I've already asked him to put it online, but hey, we have to wait till maybe he's out of uh, office, he's on holiday, he might be sick. So we just wait before, um, well, it, the update comes in. But everything will work. You'll see that the old codex at this point in time just work. So your system is up to date. This is how we did it. That's our procedure. That's how, the way how I do it these days. And the backup scale is just uh, a way of, of explaining, of showing you if you would like to see the difference between one ETC scale and the other ETC scale before update, after update, you can do so. If you say never mind, then it's just update and PKSYUA. All right, cheers.